In this video, we're going to explore some of the pathway informatics capabilities of Pathway Tools. We'll start at the home page of Pathway Tools, which lists our available databases. And as usual, we're going to start our process by selecting our database of interest, Perchlorococcus marinus. And we're going to first explore some metabolite related queries. Our, our queries are accessible here at the top menus, and for most object types, there are multiple types of queries uh, available. Let's start with an exact name search. We'll find the compound L-arginine. And so this page shows us the position of that compound in our ontology and its chemical structure, chemical formula, smiles, strings, inchy strings, and the various reactions and pathways in the database for this organism that contain this particular metabolite. We can also do an advanced search. The advanced search lets us search by many different criteria, including name or substring searches, monoisotopic mass searches, molecular weight, chemical formula, filtering, like we could search for all compounds that have five carbons and a phosphorus, and smile substructure searches as well. Let's do a molecular weight query and find all the compounds between 100 and 120 Daltons. <clears throat> in which there are about 20. <clears throat> Let's select fumarate. And we, we go to the compound page for fumarate. Now from this page, we can navigate to the reaction or pathway pages shown here. Let's click on this reaction to go to the reaction page. Reaction page shows us the one or more enzymes catalyzing this reaction, what pathways it's present in, we can turn on atom numbering to indicate corresponding atoms across the products and the substrates, and we can turn on and off the coloring. We can also do a species comparison to see what, whether this reaction and its enzymes are present in various other databases that we have present. Let's select um, these four organisms. And we got a table showing us that this enzyme is present in three of these organisms, but not in this fourth one and the pathways involving that reaction. Now from the reaction page, we can click through to the pathway page, which shows us a diagram of the pathway. This is a relatively large pathway. So initially only the main metabolites are shown, but we can ask for a more detailed view and turn on display of the side metabolites and the enzymes and genes and so forth. We note there's experimental evidence available for this pathway in this database. Uh, this is a summary about the pathway that's, that's imported from our Metasyc database that's also present here because there's no, no summary specific to this organism. These diagrams show the positions of the genes for this pathway on the chromosome, as well as all the different operons that contain these genes. The genes for this pathway are really spread out across the genome. Now scrolling back up to the top of the pathway page, if I right click, I can show this pathway in what's called the cellular overview. The cellular overview is a full screen visualization of the complete metabolic network of the organism with biosynthetic pathways on the left, catabolic pathways on the right. Uh, reaction is not part of any pathway in the far right. The pathway we just came from is right here. You'll notice that the metabolite nodes in the diagram are shape coded so that amino acids are triangles. This is arginine. Uh, there's another amino acid uh, that's uh, s adenosyl homocysteine. The pathways in this diagram are organized by our ontology, pathway ontology. So all the amino acid biosynthetic pathways are in this block. Cofactor biosynthetic pathways are in this block. And I can do a number of different searches of the diagram from this menu. For example, if I want to find um, the gene, uh, find a gene by name, I can enter trip A. And that gene is right here. I could also search for a metabolite by name. Let's find all the places that L-tyrosine occurs. L-tyrosine is right there. 
and the pathway it's part of is uh, tyrosine biosynthesis. We can also ask to show all the connections of any metabolite. So if we right click on arginine and say display its connections, we'll see all the different places that arginine occurs in the metabolic network for this organism. And we can use this control panel to filter which connections are shown. Uh, for example, we could link to only where the metabolite is produced or only where the metabolite is consumed. We can also zoom this diagram. So if we want to see the tyrosine biosynthetic pathway in more detail, we can zoom it to say 200%. And there's tyrosine right there. It's a little hard to see, but we can see the, the compounds that produce tyrosine. OK, let's, let's now look at a few additional queries. Uh, under reactions, there are a number of different ways to search reactions. We could search by an exact name or substring for the enzyme, search for EC number by EC number, we can search by pathways containing the reaction, and we can search by substrates involved in the reaction. So if we want to search for all reactions that convert UDP to say UTP, uh, looks like there's only one in this organism, so it, we're shown that one right away. Uh, and that's the pathway that it's present in, we can also do species comparisons of pathways and say so in this case we get a table showing us uh, which organisms have the pathway uh, what steps do they have what is the operon organization of the pathway uh, so we can do a fairly detailed comparison there we can search for pathways by multiple criteria. So we can search by substring, for example. If I want to see all the pathways that are biosynthetic pathways in this organism, here's our result list. Uh, we can select several of these pathways. And the first one in our list is shown here. And then we can simply step through the other results with this next answer button. And that concludes the Pathway Informatics video.